I have learned that since at least the 60s that we have had a concerted effort to weaponize space. Um, now, eventually, what Werner von Braun told uh, his spokeswoman for the last four years of his life was a woman named Carol Rosen. And she told us that Werner von Braun, who of course invented the rocket, the V-2 rocket with Hitler, and then became the core of our space program, said that initially we would have the Cold War, and then there would be nations of concern or rogue states, and then global terrorism. Now we put all this out there before 9-11. Global terrorism, which would be followed by threats from outer space. So we're at the penultimate level of what they eventually want to convince the public of. And this has been a programmed plan since the 60s, at least. The weaponization of space is, of course, been said to be so we could intersect, uh, in, intercept uh, ICBMs or missiles or what have you. That's never been its intention. They've always been aimed at targeting extraterrestrial vehicles. And this is a very great danger to the world and to our security long term because we have people who are not accountable to the people, to the masses, to the public, or even to the Congress, who are already weaponizing space and targeting extraterrestrial vehicles and on a number of occasions have successfully hit them. Uh, I think the agenda behind that is uh, a twofold. One is that they really are paranoiacs who, if they can't control them, they want to kill them. We don't control them. They're more powerful than we are. The big monkey routine, let's kill them. It's as simple as that, part of it. Part of the agenda, though, is that they do want to be able to have weapons in space so that eventually they can announce that there is a threat from outer space and unite the world into a global military superstate. In other words, not a unified world of peace, but a unified world where masses amount of the world's economy, not just from the U.S. and Europe, but from the entire world economy is going to defending the motherland of Earth from an outer space threat. It would grow the military-industrial complex tenfold from where it is today.